Alright, I am back. So, in 2004, that was, yeah, focus, come on, it doesn't want to focus, but, anyways, it says, uh, in 04, oh, it doesn't want to focus. Anyways, it says 04 12 29. And then I had sold it. I sold it to the first guy that I was telling you about, which is down here. Let's see if I can do better in the light. Yeah, it's still hard to see. Anyways, I sold it to him. And then in 2000, yeah, 2005, I ended up selling it to him. Uh, his name was uh, Silvio. And then in 2009, the fifth month, I rebought it. <coughs> Sorry for the camera, guys. It's just really hard to focus. I'm using a phone, so. And then, and then a month after, <coughs> a guy named Trevor came down and looked at it. And after that I lost, and he bought it on the 23rd. So a month after I ended up selling it. And then, uh, yeah. And then he sold it to a guy named Tyler. Yeah, he doesn't want to focus. And then Tyler told, sold it to a guy named Jose. And then what happened with that was, Jose had, had it for sale on Kijiji, and I missed it. And let's see if I can turn this. He had it for sale on Kijiji, and I had missed it. <coughs> and I contacted him, and from what he said from that, he is that he has sold it. He sold it to a guy in Saskatchewan. I was like, oh fuck! Well, now I lost it, right? I lost it for good. I won't get it. And. Um, a couple days went by and I called the guy again, um, Jose. Asked him if maybe he had an old email with his number or if he had his number. He said he was going to look and get back to me. Well, about a day after that, he uh, he got back to me with the guy's number. So I had contacted the guy, called him, and he says, no, he didn't buy an S10. He, I guess, spur of the moment, he didn't know. So he texted me back. Um few hours after and he said yeah he had he had bought the s10 so we were talking back and forth and so long story short two days after it's finally mine again but the guy had registered it in Saskatchewan so if you guys never seen uh, Saskatchewan ownership I'll show you guys that right now The ownership looks like this, which is pretty funky. <coughs> See, he signed it. It's all it's all signed. Everything good to go. Fuck, I don't know why it's blurry, but it's all signed, ready to go. So I got to go there on Tuesday. Let me put this back in there and close that. So there's a few different things like the floor, which I don't, I do not like. Um, it's like a weird rubber or something. If you guys know what this is, it's like a weird, weird rubber. Just all the same. Um, the knob up here. I'm gonna try to find one at a scrapyard. The black, it's a black one that turns. That CD player doesn't work worth work worth shit. So that's going to be coming out. We'll see if I can find a stock one to go in there. Everything else is pretty much the same. I will be looking for a water temperature gauge that normally went right here. The hole is right here. I can feel it with my finger. Had a round temperature gauge that would drop down right there. <coughs> I'm going to try to find 
different seat. I need to find some interior parts. Um, see, this is just a bare metal plastic that goes here. So there's still a bit of work ahead of me, but she is mine again. All mine. And somebody comes by and offers me $10,000 this time. I will not be selling it. They say third time the charm, and it's the third time me getting it now. And she's not leaving my hands. So keep that in mind, guys out there. Whoever wants to make me an offer on us, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, see, all this is original. I'm going to try to find one for this side because that side is different. Um, you get the hood liner. That's from the old one. But anyways, uh, do a little walk around of it, <coughs> and then, and then I will f fire it up for you guys. And let me find it. All right. So this is how she stands now. I think I did the spray and spray and box liner. And uh